Hey guys, so today I just wanted to talk to you about what you can do next time you're experiencing or having a flare up with your back. Now, no one likes to get a flare up and they can come from you know, all these unexpected things. Maybe you're playing with the kids, running around the park, you know, picking something up or bending down to reach, you know, and you're getting in an awkward position. These flare ups can happen when you least expect them. But we, we really want to understand what's the reason for these and what can we do to help them settle down so we can just get back and getting on with things that we need to get done. Because they're always a bit of an inconvenience at the same time too. So what's really happening here is you've irritated some sort of nerve, the muscles have all gone tight, they might be spasming, everything's grabbing to protect the spinal cord because that's the most important part of your spine and, and in your body. Okay, so it's sending those signals everywhere. So it really just grabs on, the body's protecting it, so it goes super tight, super sore, things get inflamed, and it might last for days or even weeks. So one of the things that I like to tell people is that we actually don't wanna stay totally sedentary and still and just lie down all the time when this happens. Because I've heard it so many times where this actually makes it worse, things get tighter things don't get back to normal as quickly if we're limiting our movements. So the best thing that you can do, maybe the day after, or you know, shortly after the flare-up happens, is, is just get back to doing your best to walk normally. Okay, get your arm swing happening, do your normal steps, okay, try to walk normally, and also try to stand up straight, because often we get pulled forward into this funny rounded position. Okay, so this is another big part of it. So we wanna try and stand up tall, stand up straight, walk normally, swing our arms as we usually do, and that's just gonna to start to subtly loosen things up and get us moving and walking around a little bit better. But here's another thing that I like to give guys, like a short little routine that's easy to do from your bed or on the floor in the morning and the evening if you're having a flare up as well, guys. So if we just slide down somewhere on the floor on a mat here, and we're literally just gonna grab our knees. We're gonna go into some gentle little rocking motions. So we start to work on this plane of motion. We do that for 20 or 30 seconds, then our legs can go to the ground. Then we're gonna take our knees gently from side to side. Okay, so now we're sort of getting that little bit of gentle rotation. So if you think about a clock, you don't need to go much wider than 11 o'clock and one o'clock on the clock just starting to get a little bit of that movement through here. Okay, after that you can just go into some little knee hugs, pull the knee in on one side, gently back down, pull the knee in on the other side. Okay, gently back down, bend your legs again, and then you can literally just go back and repeat and repeat. Then you can finish that off with, what I like to do is use the exercise ball or you can use a chair and then you just have your legs up on the chair or the ball just to sort of start to unload. And just pull your pelvis around a bit, try and get a little bit flatter through the back there. And just sit with your feet or legs elevated. Okay, if you're on a ball, again, you can just do some gentle sort of side to sides, ins and outs. So what we're actually looking to achieve here is just getting a little bit of gentle, unloaded movement back through your lower body, through your body, through your core, starting to send some signals that our core can be switched back on, okay, and that the spasming can finish, because it's really just to protect our spine. So they're just some little things that you can, you know, do right away if you're experiencing a flare up. Guys, sometimes you do feel like you have to ride it out, but just try that little sort of floor routine, try to walk normally, try to stay up tall, stay up straight, and it will subside, okay? And the goal for you would be to, you know, when we're not having flare-ups is to get stronger, improve your posture, improve your mobility, which is all the things that we love to do with our clients. Guys, so if you're interested in learning a bit more about that, tips, tricks, jump on a call with one of our coaches, talk through your current struggles, your current routines, where you're at, where you'd like to get to, just be sure to hit that big button now it's a special invite because you've made it to the end of this video. So be sure to grab the most of that opportunity and we'd love to see how we can help you guys out. But just remember what we've learned today if you're experiencing another flare up.